Hey there, Michael Bust here, math teacher. Uh, welcome back to my channel as I share uh, video tutorials specifically made for my Math 7 and Pre-Algebra students, but uh, anybody is free to use them. So here we go. All right, so now here we have lesson 2.4, solve equations with variables on both sides. Uh, in these types of equations, we're gonna have to do more than just our normal one or two step uh, equations. We're gonna have to do a little bit more, especially now that uh, variables are gonna be on both sides. So stick around as we solve some of these problems. So I'm gonna start off by just rewriting the problem again. So I have eight plus four D equals five D. So my first step in this equation is that I'm going to subtract four D from both sides. So this is just gonna be zero. So I'm going to have 8 equals 5d minus 4d, which is going to be 1d, and I just need to put d in there. I don't need to put 1d. Now, if I think this is true, I can check my work to see if it's a, a true statement, if, if this is a solution to it. So if I did 8 plus 4 times 8 equals 5 times eight. So I'm just substituting what I think D is equal to into uh, my original equation. So I have eight plus 32 equals 40. And eight plus 32 is 40. So I have a correct solution. Okay, 6n minus one equals 4n minus 5. Uh, I think this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to add 1 to both sides. That way I can kind of get rid of the negative 1. So now I'll have 6n equals 4n minus negative 5 plus 1 should be negative 4. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this 4n over to the other side of the equation. So I'm going to subtract 4n on both sides. So 6n minus 4n, that's 2n. That's going to equal, well that's going to be a 0. It's going to equal negative 4. I'm just going to come back up here since I'm running out of, running out of room there. So I have 2n equals negative 4. <clears throat> My next step in solving this equation is for me to divide 2n by the coefficient 2. And 2n divided by 2 is going to be n. Negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. Now, if I want to check my work to see if that's a, a true solution, I'm going to plug in my negative 2 everywhere there's an n. So I have 6 times negative 2 minus 1 equals 4 times negative 2 minus 5. 6 times negative 2, negative 12, minus 1. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8, minus 5. Negative 12 minus 1 is negative 13. And negative 8 minus 5 is also negative 13. So my solution of n equals negative 2 is correct. Now what I'd like for you to do is, on your own, work on problems A and B on page 46. Now I suggest you pause the video here, 
try those two problems out. And when you have a solution, come back and hit the play button and then I will reveal the answers to you. The solution for problem A is A equals seven. And the solution for problem B is negative six equals X. You may have it written as X equals negative six as well. In this problem, we're trying to compare the uh, kind of fitness plans, the personal training uh, plans for two different gyms. So what we're gonna do is we're going to create um, one side of our equation is gonna be representing this greens gym, and the other side of the equation is gonna represent this new fitness center. All right, so with greens gym, I know that they charge $50 for a one-time processing fee plus $30 per session. So I'm just gonna make my sessions be equal to X. So I'm gonna say 30 times X, so 30 times the number of sessions, $30 times the number of sessions, plus $50. This is going to equal what the other fitness center charges. So I've got $10 per session with the personal trainer, so that's gonna be 10x plus my 200. Now, the solution to this is going to be whatever x equals, and that's going to be the number of sessions where they're the same price. Okay, so here's my first step. I am going to subtract 10x from both sides. I could have subtracted my 50 and brought it over here, but I'm just gonna start with my, uh, my x's. Thirty x minus ten x. That's going to be twenty x plus fifty equals. That's going to be zero. So it's going to equal two hundred. Okay. My next step is that I'm going to subtract fifty from both sides. So now I'm left with. 20x, and that cancels each other out, equals 150. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide both sides by 20. All right. So 20x divided by 20 is just going to be x and 150 divided by uh, 20, I'm just gonna do this over here. 20 goes into 150. Let's see, it's gonna go in there almost eight times, so seven times. Seven times 20 is 140. And then I subtract those, I get 10. I can bring down a zero. 20 goes in 105 times, five times 20 is 100, and I get that. So I should say that at about, or at exactly seven and a half uh, of the training sessions, both gyms' plans will be worth the same amount. Now try page 147, problem C. Take some time to think about this problem. Come up with a possible solution. Uh, make sure you press pause on uh, this video and then come back when you have a solution and see how you did. In problem C, the width is going to equal three feet and the length is going to equal 5.7 feet. Example four on page 148 involves rational coefficients. So if you notice, we have a two-thirds x and we have a negative one-six x. We're gonna to have to deal with that at some point. Um, so I'm going to just rewrite this as two-thirds x minus one 
equals 9 minus 1, 6, x. I often just rewrite the problem just so that um, I, it's a place for me to start working. It gets me into the problem. My first step is that I'm going to add 1 to each side. I could have dealt with my x's first, but I'm going to save that to the end. So I'm adding 1 to both sides. I'm adding 1 because it's saying I'm subtracting 1, so I need to do the opposite of that. That's just going to be 0, so I'm going to have 2 thirds x equals 9 plus 1 is 10 minus 1 6 x. All right, now I've got to deal with uh, the terms with my variables. So I'm going to add 1 6 x to both sides. Now, I know that this is going to just be 0. So on the right side of my equation, I'm just going to have 10. But over here, I've got to deal with these two fractions that don't have common denominators. So I'm going to just work over here. I'm going to say 2 thirds plus 1 6. So I'm looking for a common denominator. Well, the common denominator between thirds and sixes is six. So I know that if I multiply this by two over two, I'm going to get four over six plus one over six, which is going to be five six. So I know that I have five six x. At this point, I've got to multiply both sides of my equation by the multiplicative inverse of 5, 6, which is 6 over 5. I'm going to do that to both sides of my equation. And I'm just going to write 10 as 10 over 1. When I multiply uh, a number by its multiplicative inverse, it's just going to be one whole. So I'm going to have x equals, I'm going to do some cross simplifying here, 5 goes into 5 one time, 10 goes into 5 two times, so I have 2 times 6, which is 12, I should do it in black, over 1 times 1, which is 1, so my answer to this problem is going to be 12. If you feel like you need some additional practice uh, before moving on to the assignment, why don't you try problems E and F on page 148. Pause the video here, work on those problems, come back to the video and see how you did, and I will reveal the answers in just a second. The solution for E is P equals negative 8, and the solution for F is, oh, it's not F, it's C, is C equals 2 fifteenths. Now, if you feel comfortable uh, with some of the examples that you did and you checked your work uh, with my answers, now I want you to start working on the homework assignment and I want these to be completed uh, by the start of next class so that we can kind of break out into our small, uh, small groups. So the assignment is page 149 numbers two, four, six, seven, and eight. And remember, it's important for me to see how you solve the problem. So don't just put an answer, show how you solve the problem. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more math tutorial videos. See you next time.